The next video we'll do a little revision on that gingham. So what we have is 5 mm square, 50% of the color and a white square here. We'll start by creating that 5 mm square. I've already got that set up so that's fine. I'll put a color into that and make sure that there's no stroke on that. I need to now copy this another three times, once to the right, once down and once to the left. They need to be the same size as the square. So we know this, the increment is the same size. The square is 5 millimeters. Command K to get to the increment and that is 0.5 centimeters, which is the same. OK. Alt to copy, once to the right, to the bottom and to the left. We know that our bottom one is white and the two corner ones we're going to change the value from 100% to 50%. So essentially we're going to add 50% of white into that. Usually when you open this up you'll see that the options are hidden and that's all that you will see. You could select it like that but more accurately you would go in and show options and change it over there. Once that's done, all we need to do is go back to your swatches panel, drag that in and you've got your new gingham swatch. We'll come back to the shorts, go to group selection and select both fronts. and both backs and fill them and now what I'd like to do is change, transform and scale that pattern to 30% and make sure that only the pattern is scaled and what's happening over here is it's not allowing me to scale the pattern sometimes this does happen so what I'm going to do now is go Cancel. I'm going to fill the short with a plain color first and go back to my fill and try again. Transform, scale and now it's done it and I just go OK. Deselect. Selection tool, black arrow. I'm going to copy this across. and create two more colorways. I only need one of my swatches there. I'm going to do a hot pink and a turquoise. So all I need to do now is simply select my whole style, come up into my color wheel and drag the hot pink up into the green and immediately it changes it, puts all the tonal values in and pops a new swatch into my swatches panel. The same thing will happen with the blue. Drag, immediately it changes it and I've got my new swatch in there. And that is basically what we do with the denim. So the most important points, the gingham, important points to remember is that this, all four of the squares are filled with a color. These three are filled with the same Pantone. So we see it's this Pantone over here, but two of them are 50% of, of the value. And the last square over here is white. The first one is the 100% value. And that's how we create Anna McGingham Phil.